Hi, I'm Mr. Bloom, I'm Director of Maths. And I'm Mr. Thompson, Director of Digital Media. Not very happy with my portfolio this week, to be honest with, with you guys. Um, taking a bit of a hammering on my Barclays Bank shares. I bought the shares while the price was really low because they appointed a new managing director, which the market didn't really like, so the share price was low. Unfortunately, the share price has gone even lower still, so at the moment that's dragging my portfolio down. I will say, though, I am still nearly £500 up on my portfolio. How are you doing, Mr. Thompson? Well, I'd like to say I'm absolutely devastated for you. But sure I'm not, are. I'm not. I'm not devastated at all. I've made a killing this week, in actual fact. I've gone from being over £300 in the, in the red to nearly £200 in the green, which is absolutely fantastic. Good week. I'm, it is, has been a great week for me, and I've got Google and I've got Apple to thank for that. Both of their, of their shares have risen. And also, I'm looking for Microsoft's um, shares to rise, but we'll talk a little bit about that later. Good idea. OK, Mr. Mr. Plume, let's talk about games consoles. Now, after Mr. Thompson was mocking me last week about not being able to play this Blur game, I've had a bit of sneaky practice myself, and uh, although Mr. Thompson tells me let me win, I actually beat him five games to, to two last night when we had a bit of a go on it together. But seriously, it got me thinking about Microsoft shares coming up to Christmas time, Xbox 360 sales, other bits and pieces, and I think that may be, may be an investment to look at. You'll have also noticed in the press a few days ago, they announced their iPhone beating Windows 7 phone, um, which is going to be out before Christmas as well. So that's probably one to watch. Thanks for that, Mr. Plume. Please don't think you beat me fair and square, as I did let you win, because I was starting to feel sorry for you. I do understand that Mr. Gilbert Barnum wants to challenge us both to a game of Blur, so I look forward to beating him too. Anyway, it's got me thinking about consoles this Christmas, and Nintendo were due to launch their 3DSi this Christmas, which is basically a 3D handheld console that you don't need to wear glasses with. However, Nintendo have released a statement saying they're not releasing this console until March. So that's got me thinking about their share price and the impact that that news is going to have on it. They're not going to have the sales they were hoping for this Christmas, so I do believe their share price will be taking a drop. So this is a little bit of news about Microsoft and Nintendo, um, which might well affect their share price. Have a little think about what you guys have read in the news, have a discussion in your PL group, um, and think about how that news is going to impact on your share price. Uh, now it's about time for Geek of the Week. This week, Geek of the Week looks at Windows 7 smartphone, which I have to say at first glance looks absolutely fantastic. The ethos of the phone is that it's built around your social life, so it takes feeds from sites such as Facebook and Twitter and puts them on the start screen. This is what Microsoft are calling home screen. It really does seem as if Microsoft have got their act together finally. Years ago they used to make smartphones and I myself had one and I have to say it wasn't very good at all. Microsoft how, are not building the hardware themselves, they're letting uh, trusted manufacturers, in this case such as Samsung, make the hardware, but they specify what that hardware has to do. This looks really, really, really good. Thanks very much for that Mr Thompson. Um, I'm a big fan of the iPhone but that does look really tempting to be honest, it's got a lot of good features going on there. Do you think loads of people are going to buy it? Um, I think it's going to be popular. I think it's going to be a real iPhone hitter, yeah. maybe, if not a beta. It's, it's based, based around a social network concept, so we'll have to see. And hopefully, yeah, it, it will be a, a winner for Microsoft and uh, it will push their share prices up because I own those as well. Anyway, guys, um, back to PL time. Now, if you can get your PL tutor to log into your Halifax Fantasy Trader system, have a look at how your shares are doing, sell things, buy things, get trading. And we should be around to see them during their PL times. Absolutely. Have fun. Thank you. Thanks very much. Good bye luck, bye. guys.